These winters are horrible. I have had winters that I felt depressed. I was stressed. It was just lonely. They weren't married. They were, they were in a relationship. She had two kids. That's when I told you he wasn't doing something right. And she would come over doing the lunch break. Good morning, everybody. I'm looking a hot mess. Oh my gosh. How do I, how do I look nicer for you guys? With my hair down? Do I look nicer like this? Whatever. Anyway, so it is currently, I don't even know what time it is. 12.42, so good afternoon actually, out here in Alaska. It is October 8th. And I am bored. <laughs> Desmond is not here. This is his first time going back to work in two weeks. And I just miss my babe. Even though he's coming home for lunch, he has duty today. So he's gonna be at work all day today until tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow he doesn't have work, but he'll go back to work on Tuesday. And I honestly just cannot wait till we leave. I think I'm gonna say that in every video from this point on. But yeah, so right now I'm about to wash some dishes. So let's go on and do that. Let's do that. You guys like to see me clean, right? Do you guys mind? All right, let's go. Today has been a boring day to say the least. <laughs> I think the last thing that you guys saw me do was like wash dishes and I gotta wash dishes again. Um, and this is like dirty. Hold on you guys. Does it look clear? Yes, it looks clear. All right, so Desmond is on duty right now. Once again, which means that he has to work until tomorrow. So I honestly didn't want to cook. Usually when he's not here, like, you know the kids are easy. You could just pop something in the microwave or pop something in the oven or just whip up something really quick and that's that. Um, so I didn't want to really cook today, but I'm like, you know what? Let me make my babies like a, a big meal. It's not that big, it's just chicken, beans, and rice, but yeah, so I'm doing that. And I was like, you know what? Let me watch some Netflix because there wasn't anything really like that I wanted to watch on YouTube, surprisingly. So well, YouTube is like my cable for real. I've heard a lot of people talk about being Mary Jane, so I'm watching that right now. Even though the they don't have episode one on Netflix, they have everything else except for episode one, which I guess is fine. They showed like a recap or whatever, but I thought that was kind of weird. But so far, so freaking good, and I've heard good things about this show. There's four seasons, so I can binge watch. All the seasons let me know down below if you guys like being Mary Jane please don't no spoilers please at all because I just started watching <sighs> but yeah boring day boring day Desmond text me while I was taking a nap because I have been taking a lot of naps lately I think it's because the Sun is going down earlier and it goes up earlier oh yeah so I was napping and Desmond text me he said it's 90 degrees in Texas. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, if you're like a new subscriber, we found out that we're moving to Texas. Let me put you guys down right here. Let me turn on the light because it's a little, oops, sorry. It's a little dark. All right. So yeah, we just found out we're moving to Texas. For those of you who watch all the time, you guys, ah, Jericho, that was Jericho. You guys know that we're moving to Texas and we're just, extremely excited to say the least like we're like ready to leave here we've been here for almost three years so it's time to go all right these winters are horrible i have had winters that i felt depressed i was stressed it was just lonely isolated look at look at this he is so independent and you guys have been there for me through it all i don't know what i would have done without you guys without youtube because i have broke down with you guys like there was times that i would just thank you go sit down thank you goodness gracious there was times that i would break down to you guys look at him back there i'm just staring at him I'm trying to see what he's about to do Mommy. yes light. no light go over there and sit down he was just chilling 
he, he starts to see me talking and I think he thought Desmond got here or something. Go sit down. Anyways, but I'm like really tired of feeling lonely and isolated and depressed during the winters. And if you guys get here or if you guys are coming to Fort Wainwright or to Alaska period, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, going to your doctor and telling them to prescribe you some vitamin D pills because as you guys know, we don't get a lot of sunlight out here in the winter so you need to have that vitamin D in your system or you will most likely feel those symptoms of loneliness, depression, um, sadness, stress, all of that. So, And then I had a lot of things going on with life period that was like stressing me out so yeah we're just excited to go anyway so he said it was 90 degrees and he's like and it's nine o'clock over there and he's like i hope that it's 50 degrees when we get there because we're gonna get there in december but from my, what i've heard it's actually hotter than 50 in december so we shall see what are you trying to do mm -hmm. but yeah i can't wait it's right around the corner we literally have the rest of this month november and then a few days in december so I'm excited, but yeah, no, Poppy. He's like, mm -mm. he's like wanting to be master chef over here. Okay, let's go take you over there. No, no, no. Anyways, you guys, it's been super rainy out here too, which is probably why I've been super sleepy, and Desmond has been sleepy too. Like the kids haven't, but we have. But yeah, it's been raining like nonstop. I feel like since like. I don't even freaking know. There's days actually that it doesn't rain, probably like twice a week. But besides that, it literally rains all the time. I feel like I live in Seattle. I don't like, I don't like rain. I just want sunshine and I'm happy that we're gonna be in Texas. And I know it's gonna be extremely hot over there, but I don't know, whatever. Right, Jericho? Are you excited for this new chapter in your life? Yes? Even, you're not gonna remember Alaska. I'm excited. I, I feel like there's just a lot of great things are coming our way. I can feel it like 2018 is gonna be an amazing year. So I'm just super hyped, super, super hyped for what's to come. And I'm super hyped for all the footage that we're gonna give you guys. Like, I'm hyped. Okay, are you gonna throw her the treat? Okay, go ahead. That, ooh, that was far. Where did, oh, okay. <laughs> She runs like a puppy, you guys, and she's 10 years old. So this is the food I cooked. I made some chicken, and it has a little bit of barbecue in it. Oh, Jericho wants me to show you guys his. There you go. Ooh, I got hiccups. Go sit down. Corey's over there eating. <clears throat> oh my God, two. Anyways, what I was saying is that this chicken has a little bit of barbecue in it. I just whipped up some random chicken. I put the seasonings that I always use, which is like a little bit of sea salt, oregano, basil. Jericho, you better stop playing over there. Turn around and eat. And then I made some beans with rice. It's good. Is it good? Yes. There's them over there. They're a mess. Well, he's a mess. Look at that one. Hey, what I said? Sit down. Oh, because he what? he's watching this little boy. Oh, you guys didn't see. There was a little boy dancing over there. And by the way, can I just say, I'm still on episode two of this Bean Mac Jane. <laughs> it's the end of it and like look at the scene right there let me just play it a little bit and that guy is married just saying just saying just, just saying not to her but yeah so um this is uh intense to say the least but i'm uh i'm chilling here having a good time good old time netflix and chill Ooh. kiara edition Good night. It's funny because we were coming up the stairs and the lights were off. And I'm like, be quiet, the kids are sleeping. Sneaking my boyfriend in. Hi, how's work? Yeah, I'm done yet. I know. He's just gonna be here for a little bit. Chill with mamas. 
for a little bit. Baby, this show is good. I've seen this ratchet shit. It's not ratchet. I mean, it's a little ratchet, not really. It's not like love and hip hop ratchet. It's more like real life affair ratchet. Yeah. Have you ever had an affair? No, obviously not like you being married. But I mean, like, has anybody? I would plead the fifth. Ooh. All right. Ooh. And that, that, that one. I'm like. That, that one, um, not, not, they weren't married. They, they were in a relationship. She had two kids. That's when I told you he wasn't doing something right. And she would come over during the lunch break. Oh, my God. So, that was I ridiculous. So, I got so much story time for you guys. If you guys want to hear it, comment down below. But he told me about that one. That was a, I don't know how, how you, how do you do that without your husband finding out? Easy. Oh yeah, that's true. Babe, I'm going well, to the commissary. Babe. At, he was at my house, so he was, she wasn't doing too good over there. Jeez. Did she ever slip over? Huh? Did she ever sleep over? Okay. I'm like, I don't sleep over. Um, it's a snack. You come over you know, on your lunch break. Anyways, you guys, so Desmond literally just left like a few seconds ago. And um, we were just talking about our move to Texas. I feel like every day we're just going to talk about it just so that we can know exactly what we need to do before we leave. Then we have to ship our car. I have to get our paperwork from the hospital. Casey has to go to the vet. The main thing though is the car. So we have to fix our windshield. Have to make sure that the car is like extremely clean. <laughs> um, and then we have to ship it out. We have to call the movers. Like, yeah, so it's kind of ner nerve wracking though because it's like a cross country trip. So. We're gonna literally leave here and it's like whatever we forget to do which i highly doubt oh we have to go to the post office too i forgot about that but whatever we forget to do we can't do anything about it or maybe we, we can but still it's like we're leaving everything behind you know or leaving nothing be behind because we're gonna try our best to like not have anything out here if that makes sense you know but it's just crazy how we're just up and leaving like this home that was our home for three years it's just it's it's nuts and this was like our, our official home because when i lived in virginia it was only for like probably like a year a year and a half so and i had jericho over there but like everything else was here like jericho learned how to crawl here jericho learned how to walk how to talk how to it just he learned so much out here obviously he's still learning how to talk but he just learned so much out here then like i said corey came desmond got full custody but even before he came like desmond was fighting for custody for corey going back and forth from the courts um from alaska to virginia like probably twice a year and spending all that money and us finally getting him Oh, how many years has it been already? We got him 2016, so almost two years and you know, we finally got custody. This was our first official home, all of us together as a family. So Alaska has been great to us. I'm sorry if we keep talking about Texas, but kind of not sorry too, or like talking about our move because we're literally talking about it every day in our house. We That's what we were doing before he left to go back to work and we were looking at homes too and like kind of trying to see like how long we're gonna drive even though we don't know exactly how long it's gonna be because when we drove from Virginia to Alaska it was in January or the end of December actually and then we got here in January and this time we're leaving a whole month before so I don't know hopefully the roads are different like especially in Canada because Canada was uh, kind of scary but hopefully the roads are different and now Desmond, know how, Desmond knows how to drive better in the snow we have snow tires we have a bigger car I'm excited to move y'all like I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you guys but I just cannot wait till the day that we leave this place like it's December 11th and we're on the road hopefully it's December 11th but we're on the road to Texas I can't wait to record everything for you guys because I feel like when we were driving up here, by the way, our road trip vlogs are always down in the link below. So you underneath this video and we also have a playlist as well. But like I wasn't really a good vlogger back then. 
so I am gonna get everything for you guys I'm gonna make sure we have extra batteries I'm gonna make sure the cameras are straight back to me Mary Jane and what's going on in this show I love the show already and I'm already I'm only on episode six and there's four seasons and I'm on season one this show is freaking awesome so I feel like I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what goes on on this show if you guys would want especially for those of you who have already watched it and if you haven't watched it let me know anyways if you guys would like me to speak about like certain shows that I watch on here like kind of give you guys a recap or like speak about my experience if I experience the same thing or whatever you guys let me know in the comments below let us know if you guys have ever experienced if you guys don't mind an affair or if you ever found out that like somebody you were dating had a girlfriend or a boyfriend like let us know and let us know how it ended and all of that like I was saying earlier I was with this guy and he had a girlfriend and I knew this and I was just so dumb and like at when I was a teen when I was a teenager I always went for what I wanted regardless of anything like I didn't care I was just so dumb and like that's the person that I wanted at the moment I was the type of person that was like I was so insecure and not confident at all but if I knew I could get someone I would like that would be like my, my target you know and since I ended up getting him I was like uh uh I have him type of thing like and I still kept talking to him and it was just a situation I wish I never ever did and I felt bad for the girl after I probably just dated this guy for maybe like two months and then the weird part of about it was that like he tried to become friends with my family like he was friends with some of my family members probably like two of them but he tried to be friends with like my immediate family so that he could come to my house and stuff because he lived nearby and it was just an awkward situation but yeah i'm happy once again like i tell you guys in all of my story times that i am so happy that i'm like long past that like stage in my life because i was so dumb and it's kind of sad not really sad it's kind of disappointing to think that some people who knew me when i was a teenager they know me sorry if i have like a, a stuffy nose but they know me to be like a certain way you know <sighs> but whatever i honestly try my best not to give a shiznit about what those people think because they don't know me now and at the end of the day the people that i really care about like their judgment or whatever is god obviously my husband my kids and sometimes my family sometimes i don't even care about what my family thinks because i'm grown and i'm a woman and i'm a mommy and i'm a wife and it's my life you know anyways i love you guys i will stop talking because you know how i am i blab my little butt off but i will speak to you guys tomorrow i love you guys peace out <laughs>